Hello, everybody. In today's lesson, lesson 3.8, we're going to work with using drawings to represent problems. And so, so I'm going to read you two different problems. And as I read the problems, I want you to complete the bar model to show the problem and then complete the number sentence to solve the problem. Here's the first one. Haley has five pennies in her pocket and seven pennies in her wallet. How many pennies does she have? Go ahead and pause the video and fill in the bar model for this problem. Again, she has five pennies in her pocket, seven pennies in her wallet. How many pennies does she have? All right, is this what you came up with? Five pennies in her pocket, seven pennies in her wallet. How many total does she have? Well, five and five is 10, plus two more is 12. As an addition sentence, it would be five and seven more, which would be 12, 12 pennies. All right, now listen to the second question. Mm -hmm. Blake has 12 pennies in his bank. He gives five pennies to his sister. How many pennies does he have now? So go ahead and fill in the information for the bar model based on what I read. Again, I said he has 12 pennies in his bank. He gives five to his sister. How many pennies does he have now? Go ahead and pause the video, fill in the bar model, write the Number sentence. Mm. All right, is this, this is one possibility. So we said he had 12 total pennies. So remember, this one plus this box equals 12. That's what the bracket means. He gave five away. So we know that five plus something equals 12. Well, Remember, we can use subtraction to find a missing add-in, right? So 12 minus 5 will tell us the difference or the missing number. Now, if we look up here, we see 5, 7, 12, right? 5 plus 7 equals 12. 12, 5, so this number has to be 7. <clears throat> so he now has 7 pennies. So, why do these two bar models look the same? Well, because they represent related addition and subtraction facts. Okay, Remember, if we have a missing add-in, we can use subtraction, but think, what is the addition fact that would give me that total? Okay, All right, look at page 150. All right, so we can use bar models to show problems. For instance, Ben eats 14 crackers. Ron eats six crackers. How many more crackers does Ben eat than Ron? So if we're doing this, I like to have my students underline the question and then circle the important information. Okay, so Ben ate 14 crackers. Ron ate six. So why are they on opposite bars? Well, because it says how many more crackers. In other words, how much longer is Ben's bar than Ron's bar? So we want to find out this missing space right here. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to subtract. 14 minus six equals Eight. 14 minus 6 equals 8. <clears throat> All right, let's look at this one. Susie had 14 cookies. She gave six cookies to Grace. How many cookies does Susie have now? How many cookies does Susie have now? She had 14 and she gave six 
to Grace. So this represents her 14 total cookies. The cookies she gave to Grace plus what she does have. Well, it's still a subtraction problem. 14 minus 6 equals, and we already know it's 8. All right, let's continue practicing. Complete the bar model and then write a number sentence to solve. Mr. James bought 15 plain bagels and nine raisin bagels. How many more plain bagels than raisin bagels did he buy? So again, because it says how many more, we basically have to find out how much longer is the plain bagels bar than the raisin bagel bar. Well, to figure out this missing or how much more, we're going to subtract. So 15 minus 9. Well, what do I have to subtract from 15 to get a 10? 1, right? So 15 take away 1 is 14. 14, I'm sorry. That's not correct. I caught myself here. 15 minus 9. What do we have to subtract from 15 to equal a 10? Not 1. 5. Okay, we're subtracting from 15, not from 9. 15 minus 5 is 10. 10 minus 4 is 6. So 6 more bagels. So if we put 6 here, we would have equal bars. All right, 151. Complete the bar model, then write a number sentence to solve. Cole has five books about dogs and six books about pets. How many books does Cole have? So five books about dogs, six books about cats. So five books about dogs, six books about cats. They're side by side, so that means it's basically an addition problem, right? We know both the numbers. We want to know what these two numbers are together. So five plus six equals what? Well, five and five is 10, and one more would be 11. So he has 11 books. Han has 16 blue clips and 9 red clips. How many more blue clips than red clips does she have? So the longer bar represents the blue clips, and she has 9 red clips. We have to find out how much longer the blue clip is than the red clip. And to do that, we're going to subtract. All right, what do we have to subtract from 16 to get a 10? We have to subtract 6. So 6 and 3 make up 9, right? 16 minus 6 is 10. 10 minus 3 is 7. So she has 7 more blue clips than red clips. Fill in the blank, then label the bar model and solve. Miss Gore had 18 pencils. She gave some number of pencils to Aaron. How many pencils does Miss Gore have now? So she had 18. She gave some number of pencils to Aaron. Well, that's a blank, right? So it means that we could have a variety of different answers. So I don't know, let's say she gave five pencils to Aaron. You could say she gave six, she gave seven, she gave eight, so on, okay? So any number could go here. So I'm going to go with five. All right, so five plus the number of pencils she still has will give me 18. So that's the same thing as saying 18 minus five equals what?
Well, basically, 18 take away 5 is just 13, because 8 take away 5 is 3. So she now has 13 pencils. Page 152. Use the information in the table. So when we get a table, we want to look at the title, Jenna's Flowers. We have apparently three different types of flowers, roses, tulips, and daisies. And we have a certain amount of each flower. So there are six roses, eight tulips, and 11 daisies. All right, so Jenna put all of the roses and all of the tulips into a vase. How many flowers did she put into the vase? All the roses, all the tulips. So we could draw a bar model to represent this. So she put all of the roses, which was six, and she put all of the tulips, which was eight. So how much is that together? Well, what's six plus eight? Well, eight plus two is 10, and 10 plus four is 14. So she put 14 flowers into the vase. Number six, four of the daisies are white. The other daisies are yellow. How many daisies are yellow? Four are white. The others are yellow. All right, well, there are 11 daisies. So we know that the, <clears throat> that the white plus the yellow has to equal the total number of daisies, which is 11. So four plus what is 11? When I'm missing an add-in, I can subtract. 11 minus four equals what? What do I have to tr subtract from 11 to make a 10? I have to subtract one. So I'm gonna break apart the four into one and three. I'm going to break apart the 4 into 1 and 3. 11 take away 1 is 10, and 10 minus 3 is 7. So there are 7 yellow daisies. And finally, number 7. Rita counts 4 frogs in the grass and some other frogs in the water. There are 10 frogs in all. How many frogs are in the water? How many frogs are in the water? Okay, so. We know there are a total of 10 frogs. There are four in the grass and then some others in the water. So we basically have this box plus this box has to equal 10. Well, my math problem could be simply 10 minus 4 equals what? Well, that's a basic math fact, right? Four plus six is 10. So there has to be six frogs in the water. All right, so that's basically it for how do we use um, bar models to represent addition and subtraction problems. So until our next lesson, I'll see you soon.